few years ago, I made a video that shared 20 of my favorite apologetic YouTube channels. In that video, I said how there are so many more channels out there that I have missed. Well, three years have passed, and while the previous list has largely remained active, there have been a few changes. Arzim no longer exists as a ministry, and David Wood's Act 17 Apologetics channel no longer exists. Well, sort of. So since I missed a few of those channels, on top of new ones entering the scene, I decide to make another video that will share 15 more apologetic channels that are worth checking out. Some channels are big, and some are small, but they are all on the rise. Once again, a few clarifications need to be made. First, there is no way to rank these channels properly, so this list will not be ranked at all. The last list was ordered based on subscriber counts, and those numbers were changing too often to keep track of, so this list will have no particular order or rank. Second, these channels were selected based on their videos being apologetic in nature and being published on a regular basis. Finally, I am not endorsing that I agree with all of the teachings of these channels, we should always use discernment with everything we listen to. Even this channel. Don't just blindly agree with what I say. Use discernment, research, and feel free to disagree. With all that out of the way, let's get into this list. Peter and the other disciples were to continue Christ's work on earth in preaching the gospel and declaring God's will to men. Number one. Starting off this list is Got Questions Ministries. This ministry started as a website that answered online questions, and it still does to this day. As of the making of this video, they have answered over 734,000 questions. Anyone can submit a question and receive an answer within a few days. They are now turning their answers into short, comprehensive videos that are usually 3 to 8 minutes in length. The answers are concise and well explained with engaging visuals. Many of these videos show Pastor Nelson Dominguez as the voice in answering these questions, but many of these questions are answered by a team of writers, many of who have doctoral degrees and are pastors. So there is no one person behind this channel or the questions that are answered, but their president and founder Shay Hoodman hosts a video podcast as their longer form of content. Many of these videos are 20 to 40 minutes in length that discuss biblical and cultural questions. This channel is a rich resource for those that just need an answer. There is truth in everything, but not everything is true. Number two. Next up is Melissa Doherty. She is an ex-New Ager that came to realize how deceptive those practices have become. She left the New Age movement and converted to Christianity at the age of 16. She has dedicated her channel to helping Christians and the church not fall for those same deceptions. Melissa has all sorts of unique content, including her well-done and witty satirical conversation videos where she plays multiple roles to show the sort of deceptions New Age beliefs teach. I love how she clearly articulates herself and breaks down those false teachings that certain movements have used to deceive people. Her passion and authenticity shine in her videos. Melissa is a breath of fresh air to listen to as her words are real and from the heart. Don't grow weary in doing good. Number 3. Next on this list is Elisa Childers. I don't know how else to say it, but she has a gift for speaking. Elisa is one of the kindest and most gentle speakers I've listened to. Her words have a way of enticing and attracting your attention without any gimmicks or flashy graphics. She just humbly and gracefully speaks from the heart, and you just know it. Her videos are simple yet straight to the point. Her thoughts are concise and inviting. It really feels like she includes you in the conversation. More importantly, there is wisdom packed into her words. So much so, Elisa has recently authored two books, Another Gospel and Live Your Truth and Other Lies, which speak on the dangerous teachings of progressive Christianity and other groups. Not only are her words beautiful, but also her voice as she started her singing career with the pop rock band Zoe Girl. Now she does interviews and public speaking to help Christians identify the counterfeit messages of progressive Christianity. Elisa is one of the few speakers out there that model what sharing the gospel with gentleness and respect looks like. We want to assess bad thinking by using good thinking. Number four. Coming in next is a channel that has exploded in popularity in such a short amount of time. Red Pen Logic with Tim Barnett, or Mr. B as he would like to call himself, is sort of a spin off channel from Stand to Reason. He is already a public speaker with that ministry, but he took his speaking to another level with his own channel, and it has worked out incredibly well for him. What is brilliant about this channel is that Tim doesn't really have to come up with content ideas. 
A lot of the content comes to Tim in the form of social media posts and videos. The concept is simple. He uses his red pen and logic to mark up the post and deconstruct every argument made against Christianity. This channel, as he would put it, helps viewers assess bad thinking with using good thinking and try to have fun doing it. Well, people are having fun as this channel continues to grow at an incredible pace. You know, there's a great part of the Old Testament that helps us begin to answer the question, how do we know that God exists? Number five. Next up is the channel Apologetics Guy featuring Dr. Rosario. A quick look at his bio page shows his education is quite extensive. He has earned both a PhD in Biblical Studies and a Master of Theology from Dallas Theological Seminary, along with a Master of Education in Christian Apologetics from Biola University. Rosario is a professor at Moody Bible Institute and currently teaches apologetics, philosophy, and Bible classes. He hosts his own podcast show called The Apologetics Guy Show, which simply helps Christians find clear answers to tough questions. And no, this is not a show just for guys. Women are welcome to watch and listen as well. Most of his content is long form, varying between 30 minutes to an hour, consisting of interviews. But there are some short snippets of video from time to time. Although Rosario has co-authored over 30 journal articles on apologetics and cultural engagement, he has not published his own book yet, but he has published an accessible apologetics workbook. His calm voice and demeanor are great attributes not only for podcasting, but in the realm of apologetics. Rosario's constant warm smile and personality are one to be admired. Oh, and a fun fact he mentions is that he appeared in the 2002 Spider-Man movie. We tried to see if we could find a clear frame with a higher resolution, but we unfortunately got the same result. Who you are and how you communicate will play a significant role in how to, uh, receptive a person is going to be to your message. Number six. This channel features what could be the most educated and experienced apologist on this list. At 62 years of age, Mike Lacona creates content for the thinkers and the doubters. When he doubted his faith at an early age, he investigated the evidence for Christianity to the point that it solidified his faith. Mike has gone the extra mile in his work, even learning Greek to learn the New Testament in its original language. He has a master's degree in religious studies and a PhD in New Testament. If that wasn't enough, he has debated some very well-known thinkers such as Bart Ehrman, Shabir Ali, and Matt Dillahunty. And wow, does he love to debate. There are so many debate videos on this channel which become a rich resource for aspiring apologists. His content ranges in all lengths and types, including interviews, public speaking, and simply answering questions. Oh yeah, he has authored or co-authored several books that provide evidence of the resurrection of Jesus. There is simply no short supply of content that Mike Lacona brings to this channel of 12 plus years. You guessed it, no one has been able to show any coherent Hebrew therein. Not a single soul, not a single letter. Number seven, Vocab Malone jumps in next on this list. He is known as a street apologist, which is pretty accurate considering the amount of times he engages with people outside. This channel is unique in that it educates people on alternate urban spiritualites such as Hebrew Israelism. In fact, had it not been for this channel, we would never have known that this type of group even exists. But he will also challenge the teachings of Islam too. You may have seen him in some of David Wood's satirical video series such as Islamicize Me and Muhammad's Boom Boom Room. His passion and energy is contagious. Some of our favorite content is when he confronts the black Hebrew Israelites and debates them right outside. The amount of content vocab produces is insane. We don't know how he does it. His content is mainly long form, sometimes one, two, or even three hours of it. When vocab is not on the streets, he embraces live streams and sometimes will even take video calls live, which are pretty awesome. So make sure you reserve a large chunk of time for his content. And if you want to read any of his work, he authored his first book titled Street Level Apologetics as a guide to help encourage people to do street ministry in an effective way. In order for atheism to be something that could actually be true, it has to be defined as a proposition. Number eight. This channel comes to us all the way from Beirut. Lucas Rugger of the channel Deflate entered the YouTube space only three years ago and has already grown a sizable following. While apologetics is a defense of the Christian faith, 
Lucas has no problem going on offense either. It did not take long for him to challenge the ideas of atheists such as Stephen Woodford of Rationality Rules, Alex O'Connor of Cosmic Skeptic, and Drew McCoy of Genetically Modified Skeptic. After challenging them all, Deflate sort of took off from there. Lucas has a charitable style in his arguments, not only to avoid misrepresenting atheist ideas, but he tries his best to understand them. This is an admirable approach that Christians can learn from. His willingness to have respectful dialogue with atheists have made his channel a platform that welcomes skeptics into the conversation. Deflate is a clever name that suggests the deflation of an atheist argument or belief once you apply the same questions and challenges to their own view. The content is not too short or long. Lucas is able to strike a balance with the length of his videos, which are both visually engaging and informative. If you don't do that, you're just not doing it right. So you're asking us, frankly, to do bad research when you say don't use the Bible to make the points that you want to make or to make historical points like this. Number nine, it is called the channel that loves atheists. Braxton Hunter is the face of Trinity Radio. His videos are mainly long-form discussions that have often included Jonathan Pritchett, but also a wide range of well-known guests. Because Trinity Radio has an emphasis on reaching out to atheists and responding to many of their questions, comments, and criticisms, it seems to have fostered a large community. The way Hunter and Pritchett present their videos and involve many of their viewers' comments makes their long-form content engaging to watch. Hunter's passion for apologetics shines brightly as he chooses to love and embrace those that do not agree. He is willing to debate them too. One of his most prominent debates was with Matt Dillahunty in 2019. As president of Trinity College and Seminary, he has a lot of education under his belt, including a PhD in Christian apologetics. Braxton has published much of his knowledge through several books, including Core Facts. Remember when Richard Dawkins gave powerful arguments against the existence of God? Neither do I. Number 10. He is back. David Wood, who once owned the channel Act 17 Apologetics for 14 years, has returned to YouTube under a new channel, Apologetics Roadshow. What initially started as a plan to delete his Act 17 channel because of how tired Wood grew of YouTube's censorship policies turned into a greater opportunity for another friend. Many of Wood's over 600,000 subscribers pleaded with him not to remove hundreds of videos worth of great content. But when Hatun Tosh was robbed and arrested at a Speaker's Corner event, he altered his plan to a more brilliant idea. Instead of deleting his Act 17 channel, he transferred ownership to Hatun Tosh so that she could have a much larger platform and audience to spread her message and speak against the false teachings of Islam. Now many of those videos are no longer on Tosh's channel, but there are channels out there that have gone out of their way to archive many of Wood's videos for everyone to have access to. But if David Wood is so against YouTube's censorship policies, why has he returned? We are not certain, but we are glad to see him back. He still does the same format that many have come to love, but his more recent and consistent content is his live streams, which can be anywhere from one and a half to two and a half hours with various friends and guests. Now, Christian apologetics is the practice of giving an answer or providing reasons for why we believe Christianity is true. Number 11. Next up is Revealed Apologetics led by Eli Ayala. As of the making of this video, his channel is five years old and is building a healthy catalog of short form and long form content. Ayala's style of apologetics focuses more on the presuppositional angle but he definitely encourages viewers not to limit themselves to only that realm. His channel also covers philosophical and theological topics as well. While we are unaware of his educational background, you can sense his wealth of knowledge. He is well-spoken and has a friendly demeanor. We have not yet discovered any books he has published, but he provides a wealth of resources to people on his site that are willing to learn about presuppositional apologetics. Most of his videos are of him on camera along with interviews he conducts. Ayala has also recently contributed content to Jeff Durbin's Apologia Studios channel as well. This is a channel that we predict is likely going to be more known in the next five years. If we respond to the love of God and end up loving others, then we can have boldness when Jesus returns. Number 12. Our next channel comes to us by the name of Testify featuring Eric Manning. With over 200 videos posted in under four years, the Testify channel has rapidly gained more growth and exposure. 
Eric shares in his about page that some of his origin story all started when a couple of his co-workers challenged his faith and beliefs. While he didn't know how to answer their objections, instead of accepting defeat, he decided to pursue a wealth of information and knowledge so that he could be comfortable in answering future objections people make, which is exactly what he does in many of his videos. What I appreciate about Manning is his dry, witty humor when responding to objections. It's a special type of humor that those who can relate will appreciate, but he can also get right down to business with more serious in-depth analysis too. While his videos are not super flashy, you can tell Manning puts a ton of work into providing visuals for some of his voiceover work. Oh, and he has a really awesome clean site that provides rational evidence that Jesus is alive, which is aptly titled IsJesusAlive.com. There's a, there, you have a big group of Christians now, where as opposed to that, started off with 12, grew, 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 now Constantine. Number 13. As we round out the last few entries in this list, we have God Logic Apologetics, featuring a man by the name of Avery. His ministry has a simple mission, which is to cast down every single falsehood raised against Christ. Avery mainly takes on the claims of Islam, Jehovah's Witnesses, Mormons, Unitarians, and other cults, but the majority of his content addresses Islam. He has a healthy combination of videos and live streams. Some can be larger groups consisting of various Christians and Muslims that have civil debates and discussions. It almost has a structure of a Bible study in that they are looking at scriptures from both the Bible and the Quran. These streams can stretch upwards to four hours. But Avery is not afraid to take his conversations out to the streets. These are probably my favorite kind of videos because they have a very similar style to the conversational videos Apologia Studios creates. He has a calm demeanor in his talks. What I admire about Avery is his willingness to listen without interrupting. It will be very interesting to see what the future holds for this up and coming channel. Because we're only in position to see things that are themselves limited, so any causes that we see are going to be limited. That's all our sight can really pick up, at least directly. Number 14. Than Christopoulos runs a channel by the name of Exploring Reality. Its description states it is a ministry dedicated to helping you bridge the gap between pop-level apologetics and scholarly work. But his site adds more details as it states, We are not trying to be the next big Christian apologetics ministry or the next big theologians. We are trying to raise up a generation of many apologists to be effective in their own local communities. As for his content, while Christopoulos has done some online debates, he creates far more refutations and response videos of false claims. His videos are well crafted with visuals which is impressive considering how much he provides for several minutes of voiceover work. That is no easy task. Some of these videos have a similar style to inspiring philosophy. I mean he even made a 33 minute video almost purely of visuals and his voice. This channel has only been around for a few years so there is plenty of room for it to grow in the near future. We can only see what's going on with our two eyes. We have absolutely no idea how this is panning out through eternity. Number 15. Last but certainly not least is John Clash. There are three things I immediately appreciate about this guy. One, his last name, Clash. I mean, what an awesome surname to go by, Clash. Two, I can't prove it, but his arguments for God seem so much more convincing with a New York accent. And three, he sports a pretty awesome beard. But in all seriousness, John Clash has really exploded his channel in a short amount of time. Like a true New Yorker, he is hustling and grinding hard. Whether it is shorts or live streams, he is providing so much consistent content for viewers. The channel's mission is to create a space for critical thinking, cultural and relational apologetics, discernment, entertainment, and a place to help people grow in their walk with Christ. I would say most of his content responds to many of the false teachings out there, including stuff like the Law of Attraction, which he just so happened to publish a book about recently. There is so much more to John and his ministry than what meets the eye. There is clearly a burning passion in his heart which is exciting to see through the content he makes. So those are 15 more apologetic YouTube channels you should check out. I know there are still more that we have missed. Perhaps that is a good problem to have for the future. If you value any of the work you discover from these channels, please support them in any way you can. There are also affiliate links to all of the books mentioned in the description if any interest you. Thanks for watching everyone, and until then, keep exploring.